Nearly one year ago, the San Francisco 49ers held a 20-10 lead over the Kansas City Chiefs in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 54. Much like in that fourth quarter, the 49ers have fallen apart in the past year, mainly because of one man, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo has dealt with injuries and, even when he's been on the field, has plagued San Francisco with poor play, putting the 49ers on the quarterback hunt at the 2021 NFL Draft. The first two picks at the draft seem solidified at this point. The Jacksonville Jaguars won the lottery of getting Trevor Lawrence, and the New York Jets seem sold on Zach Wilson, enough to ship away Sam Darnold at least that is. That leaves three big quarterback names remaining for the 49ers to choose between. Mac Jones, Justin Fields, and Trey Lance. The Mac Jones ties to the 49ers make sense. He fits the typical Kyle Shanahan quarterback mold. Shanahan has had immense success with three different quarterbacks. Fourth round pick Kirk Cousins, first rounder Matt Ryan, and second round pick Jimmy Garoppolo. Like the veteran passers, Jones has few very distinct traits that make him an interesting prospect. He is an accurate passer, he's smart, and he's a great leader. Jones can be a reliable, efficient passer for San Francisco, and he's, in my opinion, the most pro-ready passer in the draft class behind Trevor Lawrence. Here's the thing though, you don't give up three first round picks to take the safe option. Short of Nick Foles and Joe Flacco, who were extremely carried by their defenses, every Super Bowl winner in almost two decades has had an elite quarterback. To be fair, 11 of those quarterbacks have the last name of Brady or Manning, but the point still stands. I think if you're trying to win Super Bowls and create a dynasty, you have to take the guy with the high ceiling. That raw talent can turn into something great like Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes. I don't think you should take the safe, pro-ready guy with the third pick. You take the raw talent. Just ask the Jacksonville Jaguars or New York Jets how Blake Bortles and Sam Darnold are doing. You have to draft talent, not safety, which leads us to Justin Fields. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying the content, help us reach 100K by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Mac Jones is pro ready, but Justin Fields isn't far behind him. Fields has one of the best playmaking abilities in the class. With the way the league has transformed over the past few years with mobile quarterbacks like Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes taking over, Fields perfectly fits the mold that the league is leaning towards. Like Jones, Fields is an accurate passer, but unlike Jones, he's an elite athlete. Kyle Shanahan is an offensive mastermind, and a Jones versus Fields offense looks very different. With Jones, the offense Offense is going to be built around pocket passing and managing the game, but Fields can do it all. He can leave defenses scrambling as he runs throughout the pocket, extending plays. Additionally, he can make the throws on the run and can deliver passes to any spot on the field. Fields can give Shanahan an offense of unlimited possibilities, and he reportedly impressed both Shanahan and general manager John Lynch during his pro day, enough to make the public start to lean Fields going third instead of Jones for the first time all draft process. While Jones and Fields have been the topic of discussion when it comes to the 49ers third pick, Trey Lance has quietly flown under the radar. Lance is a raw talent that is going to need some time time to develop, but his mobility and arm give him a much higher ceiling than Jones. It makes sense to want to select the most pro-ready quarterback and win now, but look at the Buffalo Bills who waited for Josh Allen. When you give a raw prospect time like Allen or even Patrick Mahomes, amazing things can happen. If Lance gets the opportunity to sit behind Jimmy Garoppolo and groom, he can give Kyle Shanahan a ton of offensive possibilities. Luckily, the 49ers are in a good spot where they could afford to wait for their rookie quarterback to be ready. While Jimmy Garoppolo isn't the long-term solution, he still has two more years on his contract worth over $24 million a season. San Francisco managed to go 6-10 last year, despite having to rely on Nick Mullins and C.J. Bathard for most of the season. The 49ers were decimated by injuries, including Garoppolo and Mullins. Nick Bosa and 
D. Ford landed on injured reserve, putting a big wrench on the 49ers defense. On offense, both George Kittle and Trent Williams also went down. The 49ers are a good team with a good coach and a good roster. If they can find a good quarterback, they're set. So who do I think is a better fit for the San Francisco 49ers? Now, I know that Mac Jones does kind of fit into Kyle Shanahan's quarterback group. However, if I'm talking about the future of this organization and even just the future of the league, I think that Justin Fields is a better bet. I believe that Fields just has a higher ceiling than Mac Jones does. Now, Mac Jones could be a great game manager, but in my opinion, I don't think he's had the opportunity to show us that he can have a game put on his back without the help of star wide receivers. As you guys know, he did play with two of the best wide receivers in college football in his last year at Alabama. So that really is a factor to me. When I look at Mac Jones and how his career could pan out once he gets into the league, I could definitely see him having a Jared Goff-like run. I think if his team is good enough, then he can be good enough not to lose games games for his team. However, I don't think that Mac Jones alone is going to be a deciding factor on whether or not that team will win or lose. Now, if Fields were taken, it's clear that he would need a little bit more time to adjust to the pro level. However, if you give Fields that time to adjust, the offensive play calling would diversify immensely. They could put the game on Fields' back, and like I said before, the league is already trending towards a mobile quarterback style, and Fields fits that perfectly. I truly believe that Justin Fields is a better pick at the end of the day, but I want to make it clear that drafting Mac Jones wouldn't per se be detrimental to the organization. I feel like the biggest reason that I'm personally weary of Mac Jones is I see a lot of similarities to Mitch Trubisky. His draft stock has skyrocketed extremely fast, and that alone kind of makes me a little weary. I think that Mac Jones has a high floor, but a low ceiling. Once he gets into the league, I don't think there's going to be a lot of development. I think it's kind of a what you see is what you get kind of situation. Like I said, I don't think Mac Jones has the highest ceiling, but I believe Justin Fields has an extremely high ceiling. Fields could increase the possibilities of the offensive playbook. Instead of having to accommodate for a pocket passer, you can use the mobility of Fields to confuse defenses and diversify the play calling. Now, if the 49ers do choose to take Justin Fields, he is not going to be ready day one. I believe he is going to need to sit behind Jimmy Garoppolo for one year. And to be honest with you, even though he would probably start in his second year, I don't think that's when we would see the best of Justin Fields. I could see him having a developmental track, kind of like Patrick Mahomes. Sit behind for one year, start getting some repetitions in his second year, and really start hitting his stride in year three. So theoretically, the 49ers take Justin Fields. Where does this put them in their division? I believe that it sets them up really well for the near future not only in their division, but in the league in general. With the uncertainty of Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks, I think it's hard to put them in the mix and kind of evaluate them at this point, so I'm going to set them to the side for right now. And the Rams just got Matthew Stafford and are also extremely uncertain at this point. So if we're just looking at the future and where this young talent could be in, let's say, five years, I think the only team that's truly going to be standing in the way of the San Francisco 49ers is going to be the Arizona Cardinals. If the 49ers take Justin Fields and he pans out, everything should work out for them. A diverse offense and a stellar defense will win you games. Shanahan might be more comfortable with a guy like Mac Jones, but picking a guy like Lance or Fields will ultimately put them in a better spot for the future. The San Francisco 49ers are in a tough situation, but it's a good spot to be put in. They don't have to wait and see if a guy will fall to them. Instead, San Francisco gets its shot to take whichever of the three passers they believe fit Kyle Shanahan's system best for the future. It's a big unknown of who will hear their name called at the draft with the third selection, but Mac Jones, Justin Fields, and Trey Lance all have a clear argument to be that pick.
Thanks for sticking to the end. Again, help us reach 100K by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification so you never miss an upload. When we reach the milestone, we will be giving away an NFL jersey of your choice. To enter, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed and have notifications on. Then, follow us both on Instagram and post a screenshot of you subscribed on your story and tag us both to be entered for a chance to win an NFL jersey of your choice.